Welcome back to another session of Understanding Human Anatomy. Today we're going to continue our discussion of the thorax and we'll talk about the bronchial tree. The function of the lungs are to provide oxygen to the blood. They get the oxygen from the air and the air has to be conducted into the lungs. The lungs are really just big sponges full of air. The bronchial tree is what conducts the air to the lungs. Air flows into our nasal cavities, then into the pharynx. Alternatively, it can come in through the oral cavity into the pharynx, then into the larynx, then the trachea, and the trachea then branches into the bronchial tree, a series of branching tubes that pass throughout the lung, bringing air down to the lung. The trachea is the tube that brings the air to the lungs. The lungs themselves are just a big bag of air. They're hollow. So we have the trachea. It comes down through the neck, through the thoracic inlet, down into the thorax, and at about the level of the fourth thoracic vertebra, it divides into two. It divides into a right and a left main stem bronchus. Now before we go any further let me talk about some characteristics. Of the uh, trachea. The trachea has C-shaped rings running around it. Now since they're shaped like a C, they are incomplete at one end. They're not a complete circle. And they are open posteriorly. And if you palpate the trachea in your neck, you can actually feel these cartilaginous rings. When we get down to the bronchi, what we find is that instead of rings, they have plates of cartilage in them to help hold them open. Now, there are two main stem bronchi, one for each lung. Okay? The main stem or primary bronchi are not equal in the division of the trachea. What we find is that the right main stem bronchus is a larger diameter and more vertical. The left main stem bronchus is a slightly smaller diameter and it's more horizontal. The left main stem bronchus has to pass over the heart to get to the left lung. The left lung also only has two lobes, the right lung has three, so there's a slightly less amount of lung tissue on the left side. Let me put some labels in here. We have the trachea, and a 
that's this structure. We have the left primary bronchus or the left main stem bronchus. that is here and then we have a right primary bronchus on the other side Now, the primary bronchi will divide into secondary bronchi. And there will be one secondary bronchus for each lobe of the lung. I mentioned before that the left lung has two lobes, so there will be two secondary bronchi on the left side the right lung has three lobes, there'll be three secondary bronchi on the right side. So let me sketch in the bronchi. Let me sketch in the secondary bronchi. On the left side we have one coming up this way and the other one passing more inferiorly like so. And again, these will have plates of cartilage. They're not complete rings. But they're plates that help hold the bronchus open. So we have two secondary bronchi on the left draw a couple of lines in here. And then each secondary bronchus will divide into tertiary bronchi. So if we look at this secondary bronchus,
like so. And down here, we have four more tertiary bronchi. Like so. And these are tertiary bronchi. I'm not going to label all of them, but we'll label some of them up here. And we'll draw some lines. these like so tertiary bronchi these are tertiary bronchi down here each tertiary bronchus supplies a bronchopulmonary segment. So there's one tertiary bronchus for each bronchopulmonary segment. And these are the smallest divisions that we can make in the lung grossly. If we go over to the right side, we'll draw in the secondary bronchi and we find that there's one secondary bronchus that comes off right away here and it divides into three tertiary bronchi like so and then the rest of the main stem bronchus continues down and that will find another secondary bronchus coming off about this spot and it will divide into two tertiary bronchi and then the third secondary bronchus is the continuation and it gives rise to a number of tertiary bronchi Draw two in there. We have one branching here. And we have a pair branching
like so. So we have the right secondary bronchi. And since there are three lobes in the right lung, there are three secondary bronchi. Draw the lines to them here. We have one, two, and three. And then again, we have tertiary bronchi. We had eight tertiary bronchi on the left side. So there's eight bronchopulmonary segments on the left side. We have 10 tertiary bronchi on the right side. And like I did on the left side, I'm just going to draw arrows to some of these bronchi, not try and put them all in. And again, the bronchi. have cartilage in their wall, just plates. And just to make the drawing a little more complete. Like so. Now the bronchi will continue dividing, but there you're getting very, very small. The bronchi will eventually become bronchioles. Bronchioles do not have the cartilage, so that's one of the ways you tell them apart. Um, and bronchioles, for the most part, are microscopic. You really do need magnification to see bronchioles. But they keep branching deep down into the lung bringing air from the outside into the lung itself. This concludes our discussion of the bronchial tree. In the next video, we'll discuss the lungs. Thank you for your attention.